so yeah, I don't think you missed a whole lot at our ten year reunion, <laughs> other yeah. than tons of kids running around and and um, yeah, some really sort of uh, unhealthy looking people. Yeah. Um, if I lose all my lives on this, I'm just gonna find a coach for the next level. Sounds good to me. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna beat it. <laughs> like good people will do. We're going to oh, sure. persevere we're, and we're gonna uh, persevere through this somewhat sloppy platforming. We're going to learn from our mistakes and, you know, we're going to beat this game by the, the good way. <laughs> mm. blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's just... And I get the feeling like the exit is right on the other side yeah. of this cake. They got five lives. That's good. I think it's six because they count the zero. I don't know. There were some games back in the day where you could have zero lives, and some days where you can't, and this is one where you can have zero. Keep jumping. Just keep jumping on this. Like, obviously, you can beat it, despite the controls, but it just doesn't feel fair that they give you these one board with lengths, and then put this board... I started sliding, but... That's it! Okay, you can't touch the pig at all. Is that the thing? You just cannot? You just can't get touched by the pig? But when you're riding that pig, everything in the world kills it. Yeah, well, that's a different pig. <laughs> oh, yeah. This, this is this is an avatar of the boar god. Yeah. Ask Goliath. So this pig's job... The one who ruts. <laughs> I'm tempted to just throw myself off here three times, and then after each time, say oops. You say whoops before and you then even... Throw, yeah. Before you even <laughs> fall to your death, just... <laughs> do it over and over. Why is there and wampa fruit in that thing? I think they might be called wampa fruits. Wampa? Yeah, but I don't know why I think that. I also might be an idiot. Go. Oh, shit. Oh, he and turned! Then he, oh, yeah, you know what? Take the controller for a minute, because... <laughs> mm -mm. mm -mm. I'm all for playing through these games as legitimately as possible, but... Mm -mm. Sometimes. I, okay. Oh, okay. So that was level 13. This is level 14. What can I stand on and what can I not stand on? Because that um, looks like it's just straight up broken. Yeah, those those ones you cannot stand on. You can stand on the red and the blue ones, but not the Can I make that ones. jump all the way to the next one? Yeah. That's crazy to me. Okay, there we go. Yep. Not good. Continue? <laughs> oh, you just hit no or yes, which I do. Uh, hit no. Password. Wait. We should stop continuing, because then it'll give us a password. Oh. To go where we were. Hold on, hold on, hold on. X, circle, X, circle, circle, X, Let me get my notepad out. Did we do this the right uh, way? I, I guess we are, since now we have the... Why would it do that, though? X, circle. X, circle, circle. X square <laughs> sweet circle <laughs> there okay go to password X circle X circle circle X square circle hmm all right let me try my hand at that again I gotta do something about that piggy yeah I think you're the best bet at finishing this stage because I'll have to learn how to do it mm -hmm. and then try to do it. Like, I already don't get... Like, I tried it and I just can't do it. Wait. Oh. I remember how really weird it was playing the Mario 64 for the first time and then drowning. Mm. And you're like, oh, I just <laughs> killed Mario. Because, oh. I mean, you've killed him before in the yeah. past, but it's been like, whoop, and then like, you know, do 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 you know, like whatever, <laughs> yeah. and then he dies and like flies off screen, and it's like all pretty, pretty innocent. <laughs> but then you play Mario 64 and you stay in the water too long and he's like grabbing his throat and like, oh, no, I'm not dying. <laughs> God, I miss a lot of boxes. <laughs> Oh, I'm a drowning. Oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> and then you're just like, what did I do? What did I do to him? Well, you would do this to me. That we were friends. Road to nowhere, it's called. How? Wait, you're like at the bottom of the I know. mountain of the I island. know. What? Don't question it. Danger. Some asshole put that sign up. <laughs> like, I'm gonna, this would be good. Put up the danger sign. Like... Oh, man. 
Yeah, what was getting me when I briefly tried this stage was I just could not tell where I was going to land. Mm -hmm. And there are three Paulinas in here, so we can at least get a checkpoint. Oh my god. Okay, I still have one mask though, and I think there are only the two pigs. As long as I don't fall to my death, I should be fine. Which I'm definitely going to fall to my death, I don't know why I'm saying that. <laughs> like, look, as long as I just outrun the Midgar Zoom, I'll be fine. Yeah. I don't need a chocobo. As long as it doesn't catch me. Nope, I was wrong, there are three pigs. At least three. Oh, you still got that mask, though. Yeah. And hey, if I sound like I'm suddenly choking, it's because I am uh, choking myself with tension. Yeah. This game will do that to you. Yeah, it's one of those, you know... Like you play Dark Souls or something, and you're fighting a boss, and it's like, you think you dodged at just the wrong time, and so you hold your breath. Yeah. And you only release it when you either get wrecked, or you realize, oh, I did, I did completely dodge it. Yeah, for me it's like, This is that moment yeah. like every three seconds. Uh, for me it's like you set yourself on like a trajectory, you jump, mm -hmm. and you then your whole body tightens up and like shifts in one direction because you're trying to somehow make him just, slow down. Yeah, I'm trying to influence the momentum of the character I'm controlling. And it just hurts, like after a while. Well, I think I'm boned. After like a couple hours of playing a game where you're doing that, you can <laughs> start to feel it. You're mm -hmm. like, oh god. Oh, my head. <laughs> oh, I guess his shadow is not a pretty good thing to help you where to land. That's, I never kind really of, Yeah, that. you have that little advantage. But, but you still, he just flow. Like, his jump is so weird. Mm -hmm. See, the problem is that this one... Oh, nice. There you go. Come on, come on, come on. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh cool. Save. Look how happy he is. Like, yeah. Oh, you can't see his face <laughs> behind the picture. As he leaps into the air and just yeah. screams. I got my girl pics back. I don't know why he sounds like that. <laughs> gonna masturbate so hard to later. Like, whoa, oh, crash. God. I just want to say, why do I have to go through all this for a save point? I know, there's no bonus besides the save point. Like, that's and really the thing. There's some good. boxes, and sometimes there are lives, but... You know, I really liked what just happened there, that little puzzle mm -hmm. with that. Like, I wonder if that's uh, something that happens more and more often. It definitely, yeah. As you go on, you get more and more of those... Password? No, I don't want to... Well, the password would be nice, but I just want to save. Don't save over that beef. <laughs> I can't beef remember file. if you can save... Yeah, I guess you can yeah, save over it was. Beans. Yeah, I, I got like part of the way through. It's like, do you really want to override it? Hmm. Like, no. Now there's just this incongruous turtle, which I think I needed. No. Uh, Fuck it. YOLO. <laughs> Why did I... That's like two years out of... Uh, <laughs> and in Crash Bandicoot's case, he... He, he was saying it like 18 years before anyone else. And he's got a lot of lives. I guess he can do it. You only live... 19 times? As many times as you have floating heads of yourself. <laughs> Boulder. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Dash. Another... Oh, I see what they did there. Uh-huh. Uh, I love the puns and the names. All the time with Naughty Dog. All the time. They're so naughty. I know. Oh, man. The, the dog on their logo back in the day, and this one reminds me too much of the dog on one of Snoop Dogg's old albums. Oh, the dog on their logo? I think it's called point. Doggy Style. It's yeah. the album. This, the dog, it creeps me out. Yeah, I don't well, like that it. album cover yeah. creeped me out. Yeah. It's all these anthropomorphized dogs, and one of them's like sniffing at another girl dog's butt. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, and I remember my cousin, or someone who was living with us at the time, got it when I was like seven. And that's a weird age to see something like that. Yeah, it's weird, because at that point, cartoons are just sort of, you know... The cartoons, I have no... Hentai was around. <laughs> And I have probably, I know I had seen glimpses of anime, and even if it's not hentai, it's still, oh, oh sure. no, oh, well, yep, it's still of a, count a certain nature. Uh, no, I remember the, uh, the, the Snoop Dogg album cover, I think it was my cousin who had it too, and yeah. I remember just being It's like, always someone's cousin who yeah. has the thing. And it, it just, I remember just feeling, like, uncomfortable mm -hmm. by it a little bit, like, this is weird. Or like, these days I just think it's goofy. These days, I didn't think it's dumb. Yeah. I'm like, that's a dumb album. <laughs> what the hell? What is that? Yeah, but... Yeah, no, the, the little dog what logo. What the hell? I didn't lose any time. Yeah, that, I don't know. But the album, the, the dog logo here is weird looking. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that that's not around anymore. <laughs> 
all those rough logos from back in the day are fun to go back and look at. What logos? Just any of these yeah. old logos that the company's had that are still around, like Naughty Dog and Activision and EA. And I like on. I like the uh, when you boot up an old game and then you see the logos and you hear the like little music that plays mm -hmm. along with it. The, that's always cool to see yeah. old ones of those. I mean, she, you know, it just brings back feelings you see uh -huh. and you're like, you remember turning on this game. Oh, you blew yourself Thank up. God I got that checkpoint. You remember, like, turning on a game and hearing the <laughs> sounds and knowing, you know, ah, oh, I'm about to play this game. Yeah. So it's just cool. I don't know why I'm doing that just for completion's sake, I guess. <laughs> yeah, these little, like, um, those little sign posts or whatever those are that block you, those are the worst. Yeah, those little shin high walls that are like. <laughs> Yeah, the Shinhai walls and then the little, like, the... Signpost? Yeah, that thing, sign. yeah. I don't know. Like, are, they, like, are they planning to crucify Crash on these? Yeah. Once he's finally dead and Pontius Pilate has declared him guilty, <laughs> or rather, Pontius Pilate has washed his hands, they're just gonna drag Crash up to the hill and nail him to one of these. If I was more clever with game references, I'd say it was a crucifix for, like, the dude from Mortal Kombat with the arms, the extra arms. Oh, Jax? No, like the extra, like, oh, forearm. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you yeah. go. That's like, for a moment, I thought you were going to say <laughs> Axel from Twisted Metal. I'm uh, like, no, that's Twisted Metal, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have a hard time pulling out game references as it is. Mm -hmm. I definitely am not going to reference <laughs> Twisted Metal. I don't... <laughs> That was not a game that I was too familiar yeah. with, so... It's not a game series that held up well. Yeah. The, the first two games are really fun. The third and fourth ones are complete garbage. Um, Twist of Metal Black on the PlayStation 2 is also very fun. Uh, gosh, they released one a couple of years ago for the PS3, though, and I don't know if it was garbage or not. I remember the one thing that I did like about the game was that once you completed the story mode with a character, like, the, I guess what everyone was going for was to get a wish granted. Yeah. And, but it's one of those things where you had to be, like, extremely specific about your wish because yeah. you, whoever was granting the wish was a real dick and would just... Yeah, he would often... Calypso was the guy, and he would often do the you know the, the genie trope of oh I'm gonna be hyper specific about mm -hmm. what you're wishing for it's and like, screwed people over then some people because like some of them were like that and some of them weren't but then you get the twist of metal four and they're all just like that to the point where it's actually really boring because mm -hmm. you're like okay he's gonna screw this person over and they're also just really dumb it's like how he goes about in twist of metal four I remember one was like these people <sighs> wish I'm amazing these people, like these, I think that one character, one vehicle was actually piloted by two characters, mm. and they had wished to be able to fly. Oh yeah. And so then they're like, he's like, all right, your wish is granted. So then they jump off a cliff or something and fall to their death, and then the guy shows up like plane tickets, and he's like, mm -hmm. well, I guess it won't be needing these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember that getting pretty dumb, but yeah. some of them were pretty like messed up, though. I remember, well, like, like, some of them had some good writing that made you yeah. feel really uncomfortable afterwards. Like, Axel, the one I was talking about earlier, I remember, um, he just wants to, like, confront his, for some reason, his dad put him in this contraption where his arms and these wheels, mm. and yet somehow he's all just a huge beefcake. Yeah. But anyway, he wants to confront his dad or something, and his dad's like, a few more years, like, ten more years and that thing will set you right, and he's like, no, dad. And then he just, <laughs> yeah, that's killing me. Comes he out just, of it. Yeah, he just rips his arms off and walks away from it. It's like, why didn't you do that to begin with? It's just, it's, I don't understand. I think his wish specifically was to find his father and do it. But I can't remember. Mm. But Twist of Metal 2 was cool because it had deformable stages and it had the Antarctica stage, which is so possibly my favorite level of any, oh. of any game. Because it's just huge sheets of ice are collapsing into the ocean as you're playing. And so it goes from this very big area where it's easy to get lost into gradually very small area. Huh. And I think I think players are capable of um, causing it to collapse by like setting off bombs on certain points. I always found it really weird that Axel is really like ex I think his body was really exposed, but you know he's getting like hit by rockets. Oh sure, shit. yeah, it's <laughs> one of those 
moments that even as a kid you're like, this doesn't make sense. But he's got, it's just his skin and wheels, it's not <laughs> even very protected, I don't understand. These days people would, no, well, they wouldn't scream through the narrative dissonance, but they probably would <laughs> because they wanted to sound smart. I love those, uh... You know, video game be like buzzword things. Oh, sure. Just once one person learns about it, then... Uh, it's like one person will write an actual useful essay mm -hmm. on video games instead of just reposting something from Kotaku. Mm -hmm. Oop. And then there will be a little term in there, like ludonarrative dissonance. And then everyone else who wants to sound smart just latches on to it. And they're, like, oh. and they're like, they suddenly seem to think this is all every year, every year, every, this is the failure of every game. There's a narrative dissonance. I, I love when Jim Sterling was making fun of it, just saying random nonsense words that kind of had the same number of syllables. <laughs> like, Ludo Skag Biscuit Shabadoos. <laughs> yeah, I love that shit. It's so <laughs> funny when all of a sudden, you, like, you hear that phrase everywhere. Yeah. Like, everyone's like, oh. This is gonna be so good. I'm gonna sound so legit. You sound true legit. The game is very mm, visceral. I, I imagine <laughs> a lot of essays at the Art Institute included the term ludo narrative dissonance for about a year and a half. I wonder if the, I, I I know that some art institutes are closing down. I wonder if the one in Portland's closing down. Mm, I, I, I sure I hope. It. I know I they sure are. Hope so. I heard that they lost. Uh, or like part of the building that they used to have uh -huh. was um that's not theirs anymore like hmm. they have to like you know not lease what well, that was oh. weird that was really weird but they had to basically you know say they had such few students and you know admission was down uh -huh. and they had such few instructors that they a part of the three floors they originally had it, it's not the art institute anymore and it's and it's really awkward i guess because there are people who are like going into work there uh -huh. you know, it's just office space for rent you know it basically yeah. is what it is oh, and, and so you know it's just closed off to the students mm -hmm. now it's just shrinking there's a lot of a lot of instructors got fired and oh my god wait those weren't even moving it's i know this part's weird i'm just gonna stand here and watch it for a little bit what what's moving are those, those are those are fucked up. Those, oh, there the, we the, go. Yeah, it, oh. this part is weird. I thought it was bugging out. Yeah, so did I. Sitting there. Don't like this part very much because it. Again, obviously you can do it. It just requires a precision, which is very oh, difficult with these controls. And then also bats. Yeah. And suddenly <laughs> bats. Check the recording real quick. Just make sure there's like two hours or something on it. Yeah, let's okay. Alright. So cool. Getting <laughs> <laughs> to into it the way it looks. Not not like it's that cool, but it's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool. I mean I I had some fun at AI, I kill that bad. I met some cool people. Instructors were pretty good. Oh, cool, all the bats will turn to grapes. Oh, that's, that's cool. <laughs> I'll, I'll just turn into those... Yeah. But at the end of the day, stuff. if I read the Art Institute's everywhere closing their doors, I would do a little jig. Oh, yeah, I'd be happy. It'd be funny. It would, uh... I would feel bad for the students who have been suckered in and, you know, still have student loans to pay for a degree mm -hmm. they can't even earn anymore. Because the credits will still be non-transferable. I can't believe I found my way back there. Come on. What? Like the timing on this is just silly. Oh, okay, and that one only moves when you step on yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. oh my god, come on. Yeah, it's probably like those senior seminar classes that you hear the the really cool buzzwords thrown in out left and right when people are writing like essays for you know the, mm -hmm. that class that's yeah there were there were some interesting concepts i came across while taking that class but yeah it was more or less just a waste of time it was really cool when there were um students in there who weren't necessarily artists like they were people who just 
I don't know what programs. There, is, there, there are some programs where it's not necessarily that they're artists, but mm -hmm. more like direction, kind of like directing or like, I don't know, leadership sort of uh -huh. class. Like people that would... There was one and very very specific that this one girl was saying she was going for, but it was basically she was not going for art in any way, but more of like a business kind of related mm -hmm. thing, relating to artists and, you know, but it made it really difficult for her to do a lot of the assignments and mm -hmm. it was just, yeah. There was a, um, a culinary student in my senior seminar class mm -hmm. and one of the first assign or one of the major assignments is like, what is your responsibility as a designer or something about, you mm -hmm. know, what you see your responsibility as a designer as being and she just had the hardest time with it and she kept trying to explain to the teacher I'm that I'm not an artist I'm a cook like I want to be a chef but I don't see myself as a designer yeah you know it's just it's impossible for me to answer this question just by the nature of what I do yeah like there are I not mean, even disparaging herself it's uh, just, she's like this is just a technical thing I'm not Sitting down with paper and like conceiving ideas, I'm cooking up beef Wellington. Yeah, they're like uh, more like craftsmen yeah. than women. They're just make things. I mean, I, I, at some level of, you know, some level of being a cook, I'm sure it does become more of an art when you're like mm -hmm. creating the dishes that then your employees will create for customers. But oh sure, when you're when you're just going for like a associates to get a job in a restaurant <laughs> to like you know pay the bills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're not really considering yourself an artist. Yeah. Oh, not the series. And there are even a couple of instructors that I would like to meet back up with and talk to for a bit. Mm -hmm. Like my screenwriting instructor, Aldrich. Because he's, he's actually a really cool guy. Mm -hmm. um, tattoos for days. <laughs> but... There's not even a P.F. Chang's in the building anymore. Oh. I when I went down to Portland a couple of times while I was working for Amtrak at the beginning of the year, I I'm like I have nothing else to do and I have a few hours to kill. I'm just gonna go walk around the old route. Yeah. And that took me by the college and you know I was kind of hoping that I might run into like one of the instructors I knew, but mostly I just wanted to see what was still there and like the P.F. Chang's is gone. That's really weird. Yeah. That, the, the smell of their food was like the one big constant. Oh yeah, going, going down that one stairwell and you yeah. would always smell it. I, I'm not even certain what I'm smelling. I want to say it's buttery, but it <laughs> smells tasty at any rate. Yeah, that was awesome. It would always be nice at the end of a term to go have a little bit of a mm -hmm. change. Just treat myself to a nice <laughs> rum drink and, mm. and a tall decorative glass and get some... Uh, lettuce wraps or something, <laughs> and <laughs> don't you fucking dare! Yeah, sure can. Mm -hmm. I'm on a roll. Like the old muscle memory. Muscle. The old yes. muscle memory is coming back to me. I have no idea why, but saying muscle suddenly made me think <laughs> of um, minions. That Despicable Me sequel that just came out. Oh yeah, it's, the, which is the most bold. It might be one of the most bald-faced cash grabs I've ever seen. Oh, it's so funny because it's like they tried really hard for two movies and then realized that no one could possibly give a shit about the other characters. Nope. And kids just like the minions, and <laughs> minions sell stuff, so they just went, let's just make a movie about minions. No one cares about Steve Carell's character or anything, it's or just, Kristen Wiig or yeah, any of that. Okay, so Koala Kong. Mm -hmm. He's throwing what rocks at you? Does rocks or coal, and then sometimes he'll throw a bigger one, which doesn't burst when I spin at it. And then you hit it back at him. Yeah, it. and then he gets hurt. This but I one. have to try and not hit the mine carts in the meantime. Oh, there you go. Oh, it actually just sits, so I can like let it stay there. Oh God damn it! I can let it stay there for a bit. Hmm. I like when the uh, mask explodes, the feathers just kind of mm -hmm. slowly float down like a bird that just got <laughs> shot out of the air. Just throw you. You beefer. There we go. I'm Koala Kong. I'm huge and I'm going to throw <laughs> stuff at you and look, mine cards. <laughs> Not at all like Donkey Kong. <laughs> I'm sure it's considered an homage. Maybe not just a ripoff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Minions the movie. It's when the studio is just like, man, we just need some money. They probably, oh man, that's bullshit. Yeah, it might be bone. Oh. One more. Oh. Oh no. 
Just throw it. You beefer? There we go. Oh, too beefy. <laughs> too beef to quit. Loading map. 